हेलो ऐसे करो मैं तो थोड़ा सेट करने दो अपने आप को सुंदर लग रहा तू कुछ नया बताओ हम्म मैं स्मार्ट लग रहा हूँ क्या हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द चैनल आई एम बानी एंड यस द सेम पर्सन सो टू जी हस्बैंड्स तनवीर यस <laughs> so today we will be talking about how really you can find your first find me buy how really you can buy your first car and so then, this video was requested by a lot of people that they want to know like how they can go ahead and buy their first car in Canada what are the options what what they should choose second hand new one so we will be discussing all the benefits around that and I'm not going to let her speak in this video and so we insurance bhi to bolenge fir okay so we will be also covering the part of the insurance the cost that you go ahead and bear how you can go ahead and decide the major factor of your pocket expense the insurance because emi you can easily afford the insurance that is something you need to think about yeah whether we should go for a new car or a second hand car so we will be clearing all that doubts in this video isme maine steps banaye hain okay so the, there's no generic steps to it but she has made the process steps so you can follow that or you can make your own steps so the first step obviously to Uh, you know to get a car is to get a license so, so the basic entry mujhe puri life bol lete hain so okay. the first step to buy a car is obviously to buy the license so that buy the, the license matlab khareed lo nahi wo delhi wale muh se nikal gaya yaar delhi ki bilding kar rahi hai aisa kuch nahi hota hamare humne test dega license liya tha delhi mein bhi get your license main english dekh rahi thi buy nahi get your license here So the first step is obviously to have the driving extract from your own country if you know driving. So that's the condition. He knows driving, so he has got his driving extract from India. I did, had no idea about driving, so I don't have it. So that's the facility these people can have. Now the second step is now you have the extract. I'll tell you where exactly you can use that extract and have the benefit of it. So now comes the license. So to have the license before getting a car, there are three steps: G1, G2, G. G1 is computerized test. There is this application. I'll put it in the description box. You'll have to study from that application and go and give the computerized test. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And that will cost you somewhat around one hundred and sixteen dollars, like the total. Plus, if you fail and then if you want to re-give the test, that can happen on the same day or some other day. For that, it'll be sixteen dollars. Yeah. So is, these are approximate amount. Yeah. Right. So this is the cost of the Toronto region. So yeah. So second step is G2. For that you will have to practice for eight to twelve months. Hire an instructor. Depending for how long you want to pay for the instructor and how long you can hire for the instructor, hire that person. Practice for eight to twelve months. Now you can totally omit this whole section of G2. Get rid of it if you have the driving extract. So people like him who knows driving don't really have to go to G2 level and directly jump to G. Abhi tak clear hai na? Ab G mein. G is like few weeks of practice. This is one point which mm. I need to add. So basically, you you will also eliminate the month waiting period, like the eight months or minimum twelve months ah. waiting period. You will also eliminate that. If you have the extract after G one, you can immediately book the next appointment date to give a G. And if you fail in G, then you have to give G two then. Yeah. So you make sure you practice enough. You make sure that once you are confident enough, then only go for the final exam of G. So this is how you can get your license. G one, G two, G. For people who know driving and have the driving extract from the country, then G one and dump, jump to G. G without wait time. Now for the instructor, the fees here in Toronto is thirty five to forty dollars per hour. Totally depends on the person. Totally depends on the location. Basically, he has taken six licenses. Takes six uh, practices. Yeah, yeah, practices. Six practices with the instructor, and then he was confident enough. ज़्यादा लेने की तुम्हें लग रहा है तुम लो वहाँ पे पैसे लगा दो. But फिर जी में फेल होकर जी टू पे वापस मत जाना हाँ बिकॉज दिस इज अड ऑफ थिंग दैट यू नीड टू फॉलो नाउ इफ यू वॉन्ट टू गो नाउ यूर फाइनली गोइंग फॉर द फाइनल एग्जाम द फाइनल प्रैक्टिकल टेस्ट यू वुड नीड अ कार सो इन दैट केस यू विल हैव टू टॉक टू द इंस्ट्रक्टर और अ फ्रेंड एंड देन टेक देयर कार इफ यू विल गो टू द इंस्ट्रक्टर द प्राइज इज हंड्रेड डॉलर जस्ट फॉर द रेंट फॉर दैट कार ओनली फॉर एन आवर ऑल्सो एंड देन द ऑनलाइन फीस इज वन ट्वेंटी फाइव डॉलर फॉर द जी एग्जाम One forty, one thirty. I mean, it's 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 between one twenty-five to one fifty. Three no licenses, G one, G two, and G will be sent to your home. Will be parcel. Will be courier. 
and yeah. it will not be given to you like in person yeah over yeah. there they will give you the receipt only which will be saying that you know you can drive once you clear g or g2 they will give you a receipt that you are qualified g1 or g2 or g g license but the real license will come to you by post now you have the final license which is the g license now let's talk about how do you really get the car so my preference is always new car reason being you make uh, it just like that you are making your life so you are making your car's engine so basically that does make a difference because the car engine is the heart of the car so uh, i'll always prefer new car i have my personal opinions but obviously if you're getting a second hand car and depending on your pocket as well so you can go for second hand car uh, there are a lot of you know showrooms which deal with the second hand car and they get give you great deals to be honest great deals like mouth watering deals people like me who are fascinating about the cars so you will get like slip over there like you are getting a bmw in 20000 and because the emi which they will be converting into will be coming in the same ratio of a new car so new car of Uh, less uh, range, less range like Toyota Corolla or uh, Elantra, Hyundai Elantra. So the the lesser value cars, so they will be going ahead and converting in the same EMI ratio. But my preference was always to go ahead and buy a new car because I am the one who is responsible for anything happening to my car. So for us, it's like buy a smaller car with this lesser range, but a new car. second hand ka we really didn't want it but if you guys really want to go for it there is no like problem in that exactly so just um, get it checked properly exactly there's the another thing is basically which is the major factor the why you want to use a car i wanted to keep the my first car for a longer duration if you don't want to keep a car like you are someone who change car every 2 years 3 years so obviously there's no point of buying a new car for you you should definitely go for a second hand car because you will be changing the car in very soon but which point which comes up why you are using the car the it, purpose of the car exactly so if you want to do Uber, Uber, Lyft, and uh, you know these kind of things. There are certain time lags to it that you your car should be newer model. It should be like not five years older than the yeah, current yeah, yeah. year. So these kind of restrictions are there. So then you have to look for these kind of privileges in the car. कि ये चीजें मेरी गाड़ी में हो और उसके बाद तुम कार डिसाइड करो. But again, also for Uber and all this, it has to undergo some car. Uh, Or no? yeah, yeah so for uber and lift kind of driving if you are doing so there is a car examination like the, the they will go ahead and you know look into your car whether your car is good enough for the, it has all the safety features or not so the, there is a kind of a examination that they do of your car and it cost you somewhere around 100 dollars or 120 dollars so for that i think you will have to go for the new car but totally depends i have seen a lot of people going ahead and buying all luxury and beautiful cars but second hand yeah. and then they are also driving uber and stuff so you will have to do your own research and then it depends on your preference yeah now we'll talk about how to get a car old car and new car how you can get a car now old so, car old car like i told you earlier like there are places here where The, there are big showrooms which are dealing with only second hand cars so like there are uh, or you know auto parks these kind of things are there which are big brands and they are dealing with only second hand cars they will give you financing options over there everything is there so uh, like buying a second hand car from there is just like you're buying a new car everything is under one roof you can get your car checked and everything will be there then the other option which comes up is the small dealers so you will find direct owners yeah small small Old dealers, dealers. Okay. small dealers so you will find like roadside dealers Here also, they have limited cars. Yeah, there are they have shops and they have very limited cars. So EMI options, they will get it arranged for you if you if you want to get it done and all all sort of things they can go ahead and look into that aspect. But all they, the formalities and the it can be easily financed. So all this they will they will arrange it for you. Yeah. So third option is third option is directly buying it from an owner. Hmm. So basically, like um, some you know someone who has a car and he wants to sell it out. So you can go ahead and directly talk to him. Then if you want to finance it, then you have to arrange your own financing. stuff and everything you have to talk to a bank or you can go ahead and call any agents or like there's a lot of long list in the online when you do a detail part of it cool. this is this is the third option that you can directly go ahead and buy it from someone the fourth option is the online thing so online things is like again in marketplace you will be the facebook marketplace feature it will show you the cars if you want to look for a car then there's a different websites of different from brand like even honda uh, they had they run their own franchise chains with deals and second hand cars you can go online on their websites and oh, you will find the honda second hand cars only same goes with uh, different different brands here also so, on tgg you will find cars exactly. people are selling cars furniture and houses so exactly. you can go and go ahead and find it on tgg also yes but make sure while again i'm saying it once you are buying a second hand car make sure it is the life and the the heart of the car which is the engine it should be good it's easily gaadi lena yahan pe itna mushkil nahi hai mushkil hai utna nahi hai insurance yahan pe jo 
basically dhakka lagta hai when it comes to giving the money monthly yeah now we'll talk about how to get a new car new car is a very simple process which we which, which we are following from our countries as well from all the native countries like there are showrooms that you go to and there are people that you meet and only showroom is the only option exactly there are people that you meet you tell your budget you tell your selective options like this is the option i want to go for they'll show you the car they'll make you test drive it and then you can easily if you if you like it you can go ahead and you know ask the options that how you want to go for it they will arrange everything for you, for you like they will be going ahead and filling the financing options for you so basically what i'll tell you is there are online websites for different brands i'll explain what i'm saying depending on your budget supposedly if you want to buy from hyundai honda mercedes whatever your budget whatever your budget is go online search and see that whichever car you like then go visit the showrooms, showrooms yeah. individually go to toyota go to honda go to hyundai or go to mercedes whatever bmw whatever is your budget yeah. talk to them tell them that this is my budget example our budget would be uh, $25000 for a car so they would show you all the cars under that budget so then you will have to choose and discuss with that person what are the formalities for that car what are the financial stuff that goes under it what are the documents that you that these people need from you exactly and then if the car is for $25000 that person would ask you so you want to do the down payment so there are some really basic and minimum that you have to do sometimes it's $1000 sometimes it's $2000 and if you are the whole car exactly sometimes they even advise you just like pay $3000 and so that they can go ahead and get your financing and if you food. have and if you have a lot of cash and if you have a lot of money whether it's cash or like in your account and if you want you can pay a big chunk of amount out of the total budget mm -hmm. out of the total uh, car money like if it is for $25000 you want you pay for 10000 you pay $10000 right. if you have it yep. so then jo kisht banegi the money that you have to give monthly it will be way less and it won't hurt your pocket that much exactly so as so as per your budget you can discuss with the person and the person the advisor would ask you that do you want the lease to be continued for how many years so loan, if loan, the loan the loan to be continued for how many years Technically, the standard is seven years. So, if you want, you can give it in three years. If you have money, or if you're earning good, if you have the job. So, maximum is seven years, and then every month, uh, bi-weekly, the uh, the chunk will be extracted from your account and will be, you know, extracted and given to you. Know what I mean? Yeah. Take it. So now you have decided the model of your car. You have decided the tenure of financing and everything. Then you need to submit your documents, pay stubs, PR cards, and uh, your uh, any employment letter that would be fine as well. So once you submit these letters, then they will go ahead and process your file because as per depending on your credit score, your loan need to be approved. So they will run a credit check. Uh, first time it is a hard credit check. Do remember it. They will run a hard credit check on your account. When I say hard and soft. hard means they it will once they will run a credit check your points the, there will there will be some points which will be deducted from your credit score supposingly your your credit score was 700 it will drop down to 670 680 soft is like it will still deduct a credit you know but it will be very less numbers so they will first time they will run a hard credit check on your account just because it's a big amount it's going to be like somewhere around 25000 dollars or 30000 dollars or 40000 dollars depending on your choice so once it gets approved from the bank then they will go ahead and tell you that the loan is approved please go ahead and buy an insurance so our first car got rejected from hyundai then we had gone to toyota and it took good 10 days and then it got rejected and in toyota it got approved within a day within a day maybe two days no and, no within a day next day i got a call and uh, surprisingly hyundai ki jo hum gaadi le rahe the which was uh, cheaper than what we are uh, what, we, we, what we have right now तो हमारी महंगी गाड़ी अप्रूव हो गई सस्ती गाड़ी अप्रूव नहीं हुई तो ये सारी कंपनीज पर डिपेंड करता है और सब उनकी उनका सारे रूल्स पर डिपेंड करता है सेकंड थिंग इज जब तुम्हें फोन आएगा योर कार हैज बीन अप्रूव्ड यू कैन कम एंड डू ऑल द फॉर्मेलिटीज गो डू ऑल द फॉर्मेलिटीज एंड ऑल्सो देल टेल यू वी विल नॉट गिव यू द कार टिल द टाइम यू डोंट हैव द इंश्योरेंस ऑफ दिस कार तो तुम शोरूम से गाड़ी बाहर नहीं ले जा सकते जब तक तुम इंश्योरेंस लेकर नहीं आओगे अब इंश्योरेंस की बात करते हैं इंश्योरेंस कैसे लेंगे गाड़ी तुम्हारी आ चुकी है तो चिल्ड आउट रहो अब उस हर एक गाड़ी का अलग इंश्योरेंस होता है हर एक गाड़ी का गाड़ी के नंबर मॉडल का नई गाड़ी है पुरानी गाड़ी है हर एक का एक अलग इंश्योरेंस का प्राइस होता है अब इंश्योरेंस कैसे लेने हैं उसके तरीके हैं 
Okay, so basically the the first thing that you can do is you can obviously sit up sit with your laptop and research online. Like TD your TD insurance is one of the major factor that people go for. TD say insurance lena because it's an online calculator. Once you like the quote, obviously you can give them a call. They will go ahead and call you back regarding the same, and you can discuss the matters. This is the term I'm agreeing to. Other are there are companies like Bell Air, Intact. Uh, lot of companies are their insurance company. So you can always look for their website, and uh, there are a lot of calculators. online this is the first point of way that you can do your research for the insurance code the second thing is agents एजेंट्स पे काम करना मेरे को कुछ नुकसान मैंने एजेंट से लिया है सो आई डोंट आई डोंट मेरे को कोई इसमें नुकसान लगा नहीं कोई ऐसा कमीशन वाला फैक्टर नहीं बिकॉज दे हैव द डायरेक्ट डीलिंग विद द कंपनी एज वेल सो माई एक्सपीरियंस विद द एजेंट वॉज मच बेटर देन डूइंग ऑनलाइन बिकॉज एजेंट को मैं समझा पाया कि दिस इज द थिंग दैट आई वॉन्टेड वॉट आर द फैक्टर्स दैट इम्पैक्ट योर इंश्योरेंस प्राइस इंश्योरेंस कोड को कौन से फैक्टर्स इम्पैक्ट करते हैं पहला तुम कितनी गाड़ी चलाते हो तुम उसमें विंटर टाइज इक्विप करते हो या नहीं करते हो तुम गाड़ी किस लिए यूज करोगे कभी अगर जैसे तुम एवरी डे कम्यूट करोगे उस गाड़ी से तुम कितना उसको रन करते हो ये सब फैक्टर्स जो होते हैं वो बहुत इफेक्ट करते हैं अब मैंने जब फाइनली एजेंट से बात करी तो मैं उनको समझा पाया कि मैं इसको ऑफिस नहीं लेके जाने वाला ओनली सैटरडे संडे को गाड़ी मैं यूज करूंगा जो मैं करूंगा यूज माई कार ओनली ऑन सैटरडे संडे वेन वी फैमिली गैदर यानी फैमिली क्या बोलेंगे अपना पर्सनल यूज अपने पर्सनल यूज के लिए गाड़ी यूज करो ऑब्वियसली उन्होंने एक मेरे को कोड बना के दिया कि हाँ इस हिसाब से तो आपकी उन्होंने कैलकुलेशन दिया कि इस हिसाब से आप एक साल के अंदर आठ या दस हजार किलोमीटर तक गाड़ी चलाओगे उस हिसाब से इतनी इंश्योरेंस कोड बनती है तो ये ठीक है आपके लिए अगर ये ठीक है तो हम ये एक अलाउ कर सकते हैं देन द सेकंड बेनिफिट दे गेव मी उन्होंने एक ऑनलाइन ऐप मेरे क्योंकि आई वाज अ न्यू ड्राइवर इन कनाडा तो उन्होंने मेरे को एक ऑनलाइन ऐप इंस्टॉल करने को बोला तो मैं मेरा राइट नाउ आई एम आई एम एनरोल्ड विद इंटैक्ट इंश्योरेंस जो कि कहते हैं कि दैट दे विल गो एर इट कीप्स अ ट्रैक ऑफ द वे यू आर ड्राइविंग हाउ हार्ड यू आर ब्रेकिंग योर कार एंड ऑल दैट काइंड ऑफ स्टाफ बट इवेंचुअली मेरे को वो ऐप थोड़ी समझ नहीं आती इट जस्ट दैट इट्स अ काइंड ऑफ कस्टमर यू नो कीपिंग अ कस्टमर विद विद देम वो एक डेटा बेस रन करने के लिए उन्होंने एक ऐप इंस्टॉल कर रखी है दैट सेट इट्स अ वेरी सिंपल थिंग यू विल गेट सम अराउंड टेन परसेंट डिस्काउंट ऑफ फॉर दैट सो डू मैंने वो डाउनलोड कर लिया इंश्योरेंस प्राइस और कम हो गया सो द मेजर फैक्टर्स दैट इम्पैक्ट यूर कोर्ट इज कितने किलोमीटर आप उसको चलाओगे किसी गाड़ी है पुरानी गाड़ी है नई गाड़ी है पुरानी गाड़ी का इसका दस या पंद्रह डॉलर का डिफरेंस आ जाता है देन Uh, कितना आप उसको उसको आप कितनी सेफ्टी फीचर से इक्विप करोगे उसमें विंटर टायर इंस्टॉल करोगे या नहीं करोगे इसका थर्टी डॉलर्स का डिफरेंस आ जाता है देन आप उसको किस लिए यूज करोगे अगर आप उसको ओला या लिफ्ट के लिए यूज करोगे ओला कह रहा हूँ ऊबर या लिफ्ट के लिए यूज करोगे ऑब्वियसली द इंश्योरेंस प्राइस गोइंग टू बी हायर सारे फैक्टर्स को डिपेंड करके और उसके बाद जो मेजर इम्पैक्ट आपको करता है कि आपके पास कैनेडा के अंदर या यूएस के अंदर इंश्योरेंस की हिस्ट्री है गाड़ी की अगर नहीं है तो ऑब्वियसली आपको हायर प्राइस मिलने वाला तो ये मैं भी इंपैक्ट करके बैठा हुआ था बट जस्ट दैट कि थोड़ा सा हम लकी रह गए तो मेरी 380 के करीब इंश्योरेंस है सो विच आई पे एंड इट्स गुड सो मैं दस मैंने उसको उनको लिमिट दे रखी है दस हजार दस हजार किलोमीटर की साल की सो बेसिकली हमने एजेंट से लिया है इंश्योरेंस एजेंट का नंबर हमें दिया था एडवाइजर ने ही जो जहां से हमने गाड़ी ली है वो एडवाइजर जो थे वो बहुत अच्छे थे पाकिस्तानी थे तो उन्होंने हमारी हेल्प कर दी और जो एजेंट थे वो भी पाकिस्तानी थे तो उन्होंने भी काफी इस तरह हेल्प कर दी हमने ऑनलाइन भी करा इंश्योरेंस का कैलकुलेशन बट हर जगह महंगा था इनफैक्ट टीडी में भी महंगा था दो टीडी डी यहाँ पे सबसे अच्छी मानी जाती है इंश्योरेंस को लेकर पर वहां भी महंगा था तो थैंकफुली हमें एजेंट से रीजनेबल मिल गया वंस यू गेट द इंश्योरेंस आपने इंश्योरेंस इंश्योरेंस के लिए डिटेल भेज दिया आपके पास इंश्योरेंस कन्फर्मेशन आ गया फिर इंश्योरेंस कन्फर्मेशन की कॉपी Either agent or either uh, the person you are getting from, you need to. They will go ahead and send the insurance confirmation to the person you are buying the car from. To the company from where you are buying the car. Exactly. Once they go ahead and send it there, then the insurance the 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 car car guy will call you, and they will tell you like we have got the confirmation of insurance. You can go ahead, come and take the car. Car, take the car. So monthly that um, the amount that we pay for the car, including the gas, is eight hundred dollars. So while twice it will it will be deducted for the car loan. in a month and once for the uh, insurance exactly so they will ask you for the insurance uh, for the loan part that how you want to go ahead and you know deduct the emi either you want to go ahead and do it uh, bi weekly or you want to keep it monthly i chose uh, bi weekly because mere 10 dollars bach rahe the usme because there's a fees that get attached when you go ahead and do monthly everything is sorted initially har cheez mein thodi si problem aayegi har cheez mein hoga how wala cheez dimag mein aayegi ki kaise kare but then everything will be sorted once you get in a flow of it so don't really get panic or worried about the whole situation just come to canada and 
you know play along with the whole thing exactly. so it will be fine don't worry at all but yeah this is the thing if you still have any doubts related to the car the insurance or anything you want to ask you can go ahead and ask us in the comment section and we'll be happy to help you so do share yeah. subscribe and like the video and uh, share it with your friends and let us know if you like the video yeah do tell us that in the comment section that appreciate us yeah yeah so let us know if you have any concerns all right then bye 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 take care okay bye